and at Redden sits apparently relaxed. Oh. Brilliant. Hello, he's gone straight enough. Four points away. Well, that is very unfortunate for the South African because a red is in line with the center pocket. Four red, just 12 points in it. Red in a situation like this is absolutely devastating. What?
bad one. Then now, 24 points in front, and still the possible 35 on the table. This red, the black, and the colors. So still a chance for the South African to clinch the frame. Fine cut on the black. That makes life terribly difficult Eight. for the South African. Well, 
red devastating for is to try and play his own game. And um, someone who plays as well as Ray tends to make him think about every song he plays. And I think this is a fact that very much I'm probably not the fine playing shots as we can do that. that brilliant snooker by the South African. Thirty-three points behind, but there are only 18 points on the table, so Mons requires more than just one snooker. Oh. And... <laughs> uh, he's not quite sure what he's done, but what he does know is that he's given seven points away. Oh dear. Now, this is Reardon putting a file across the tip of his cue. He doesn't want to miss Q again. A rare sight to see these top professional snooker players missing Q. Perry Mons, the shy, retiring teetotaler and non smoker from Johannesburg. Taking that frame at 75 points to 44 goes one frame nearer the world title. And so we come to the frame that Red is really looking for. But will the South African, who's broken on, keep him at bay? 24 frames to 18 then. started life down the pits from Tredega in Wales. And that could be enough four points away. doesn't mind, they all count. Well, of course, Six. a bit of luck like that always helps you when you've missed an easy shot, but it doesn't do your confidence much good, because he did miss Seven. the red he went for. So confidence wise, but here again, we're in the same position where his positional players let him down. He was well in amongst the reds there. Five or six reds open at the top of the pack. Whilst we're 
waiting for Ray Reardon to contemplate this snooker. Perhaps this is the moment I can tell you that we have had eight 100 snooker breaks in these championships over the past two weeks. Two have been made by John Spencer. Two by Reardon here. Two by the Australian champion, Eddie Charlton. And one each from Fred Davis and Patsy Fagan. The highest of all those is John Spencer's 138, which claims the embassy highest break prize of 500 pounds. Those two balls are not in line for the pocket. And on the left of those two ladies there is Sue Rid, Ray's wife, who normally sits at home looking after all his business interests. Tonight, joining him and hoping to share his triumph in the world title and crown.
near the blue but he can in fact get to the pink if he so wishes but being a left-hander he's going for the little fish Actually conceded the match. He played a, a 
dangerous double when there's red over the middle pocket. And then another wild shot there. Six. Met Rain here for what I could say could be match winning brain. When he's playing in this sort of form, Seven. you can't afford to let him in with red spread all over the table like this. to see Red miss one of those. 13 points on the scoreboard. Still five Reds there. Surely, in his heart of hearts, must know that that has given Red the chance he's waiting for. Well, 
Reardon has left not only a Chinese snooker, which is over the top of the black, but he's left it very difficult down the line. Had the South African a clear cue ball, he may be able to swerve around the pink and blue. But in these circumstances, he must go off the cushion. The bridge hand there getting over the black, and he's way off the mark. Four points Four. away. Four. We're in. And so the difference now is just 24 points. favorite color, the black. Sixteen Eight. points behind. That's there. He's now in position for these five colors. The dying moments now of the Embassy World Professional Snooker Championship for 1978. At the table, taking the last four balls, is a former champion on five occasions Welshman Ray Redden. He's now just two points behind, requires both pink and blue. 